Hi, uh, Sarah here. I'm going to talk to you about some digital reading options that we have. There's a video in this lesson about Flipster magazines. So this video is going to be talking about Overdrive and Fall at Shelf. And those are two um, digital tools that we have for reading. So I'm starting from the library website and I'm going to Overdrive right here from the home page. I could also choose it from the digital books page. Either one of those would work. Um, but just going ahead and opening it up, you'll see when you, um, I'm just going to scoot back here for a second, you can see the password is, is right here. So you have a unique password. It's your Amersol username and school password. Um, so nothing really to remember. It's the same as all your other school accounts probably. So I've already logged in and it looks like this. It will open up with some of the um, new things that we've bought and there's really a lot of good stuff here. My strategy so far with this is to buy things mainly for adults uh, because we are finding that adults prefer um, digital reading more than kids do. So anyway, I'm, I'm happy to buy anything that you think we should have here. You can browse by subject um, Mm, by collection, all different kinds of uh, ways to, to search. Oh, they've changed this a little bit so it's even a little bit more comprehensive. Sorry, I'm, I'm here from home so there may be some uh, stuff happening in the background. Um, okay, so let's say that we go back to this main page and I see a book that I want to read. I can do a sample of it or just click it and see a little bit more about it. It's important to remember that these books function just like real books on the shelf. So if I were to borrow this book right now, it would be unavailable for other people for two weeks. These books are set to be, um, once you borrow them, they're going to be in your shelf for two weeks. After that, they're going to disappear from your shelf. You don't have to worry about returning them. If you want to borrow it again, you just go back and get it again. Uh, you can hold it. If something is out, you'll open it up and you'll have the option to hold it. Um, so that's kind of how it works. I think you can probably figure it out. Um, the best way to to deal with these is probably through the app. So if you search on your smartphone or tablet for Overdrive, the app, and then search for our school, you can go ahead and start typing in the name of the school uh, you may also be able to search by location. If you put in Lima, Peru, it may pop up faster. Um, you're going to log in with your school username and password just the way um, you know you would for the catalog or some of your other school accounts. Okay. So the other way that you can see Overdrive titles is in the catalog. You might sometimes be browsing for a book and you'll see in the catalog, I'm just going to go with um, Genetics Max, what is the guy's name? I forget the title of the book, but I know that we have this. Oh, here it is right here. So I happen to just remember that there's a book um, that we have in the catalog, which is called Max Axiom Super Scientist. And when you see digital books that are in Overdrive or Fall at Shelf, you'll see this button here that says open. So I'm going to go ahead and open this one. This one happens to be a Fall at Shelf book, um, but we do have ones, let me just show you, uh, we have The Giver, for example, in Overdrive. So here I am with The Giver, and I'm looking for the one here, this one here. See how it says open? So when I open this one up, oh! Sorry, I'm wrong. This is Fall at Shelf as well. Anyway, I open it up and I have to put in my password, my school password, and the book will open up. I'm not going to do it right there because you'll see my password and that would be awkward. Um, but I just wanted you to be aware that when you see something in the catalog that has this button that says open, it means that uh, you'll be able to, to read it right here on your, on your computer. Alrighty. Um, can't think of what else to tell you about Overdrive other than please let me know what else we should buy. 
I'm particularly interested in um, audiobooks. We don't have very many yet, and I think that could be an area for growth. Uh, yeah, we have just one so far. These are expensive, so I'd really like to know which ones would be good to buy. I can choose some, of course, but um, if you have ideas, please let me know. Alrighty, and again, with the app, this is going to be great. You, you know, use it with your headphones on the bus or whatever. Okay, uh, I think that's all I wanted to tell you. Thanks very much.